Mua. King Von's bodyguard. The main King Von hand picked. To go up to starting with him just like Lil Dirk did him. The man King Von could call at any moment. And he would grab his Glock. And he would shoot. And he would shoot to kill. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. We've got a lot more coming. Move up. The man King Von could depend on. One of the neighborhood's favorite. But he was highly impatient. And couldn't wait his turn. You see, in the drill culture, drill artists, they either take off with a hit song, move out to the city, Move to somewhere like L.A., Miami, Atlanta. They either get killed in their city and never make it out. Or they either go to jail in their city over more than likely some murders they committed. Move out was thought to be different. He was destined on a different path. Like I said before, he was handpicked by King Von. Some say the second biggest drill artist of all time. Lil Durk's protege. The same King Von Lil Durk took on Breakfast Club. The same King Von that got the nickname Grandson. Some people thought it was King David's grandson. But he got it in jail from helping an old man. You see, Muwap was always around King Von. King Von always took Muwap wherever he could. Whether it was shows, whether it was to the club, whether it was just on a luxurious fashion trip. So they could be decked out, decked down with a mirror to the floor. Muwap was always right there for King Von. And by Muwap being always being right there for King Von, that also led to his demise. That loyalty got Muwap in prison for the rest of his life. You see, Muwap didn't have no patience. On the faithful day of August the 4th, August 4th, August 5th. When TZ seen FBG duck in the Gold Coast of Chicago and he made those phone calls. <clears throat> One of the first people that got called in O-Block was Muwap. Because with FBG duck being King Von, one of King Von's biggest ops, they would love to just catch him at any cost. At any cost imaginable. They would have caught him at the grocery store. They would have caught him at Walmart. They would have caught him at the shoe store. It has been known and seen in Chicago. People getting killed, shot over a hundred times. Right outside the police station. As soon as they walk through those gates, people are waiting on them. See, Chicago is that different breed. They don't fear the law. They're so used to killing people and getting away with it, sometimes they think they're invincible. And money doubles that. See, if Muwalt would have been a little bit more patient, if he would have said, hey guys, I got a rap career I'm focusing on, things would have probably been different. But he couldn't. Because King Von entrusted him and he had to prove his loyalty and taking down King Von's biggest art. Shortly after FVG Duck dies, by the hands of Muwap and six other people, King Von died shortly after. So all the focus is on Muwap, 
who was gaining stardom while King Gon was alive. But now that all the starlight was on him, all the cameras was on him. What are you going to do next? You have to pick up King Bron's torch. He anointed you to be next. You are up next, Muwak. And after dropping a couple of songs, gaining a couple couple hits up under the belt, street hits, local hits, he's seen his career in an upward spiral. Not downward, in an upward spiral. He was getting more money. He was getting closer to the little dirt. He was gaining stardom at a very fast pace. Nearly a year later, he was arrested for the death of FPG Duck, along with five other people. Notably, called that O Block Six. Muwak should have been more patient. He should have just sent them on the way. But everybody looked at Muwap as a leader. After King Von gone, Muwap was the next up. He was the next one people looked up to. He had a rap career. He had fans. None of them else had fans. None of them else had a promising rap career. It was only Muwap. He didn't have the patience. He couldn't tell him no. He had to prove his loyalty once again to King Von. If he would have just waited, if he would have just had more patience, he could have still been here taking his rap career to the next level. Maybe, who knows, reaching King Von's level in a short time. But we'll never know because he's in prison for the rest of his life now. Muwa should have had more patience, man. You should have had more patience. It was almost your time. Until the next video. Peace.